Well, hello, lovely humans. Welcome back to my channel and me justifying thrifting yet again. In today's video, we are going to be trying on all the pieces that I have thrifted recently that I have not worn. And how are you going to know that? You're going to know that because most of them have tags on them. And when I say recently, I mean some of these have been sitting in my closet for a really long time. Okay, so here's the point of today's video. I'm doing a full styling video, okay? I'm taking the piece that I found at Goodwill and styling it in the way that I envisioned in my brain when I picked it up, even though I didn't try a majority of these bad boys on. <laughs> so I have no clue how they're gonna look on my actual body. I'm usually pretty good at gauging like what it looks like on the hanger and what it'll look like my body, so hopefully I was right. And what we are collectively going to be doing together today is decide whether I'm going to keep it or return it. But I can't return it because I've kept some of them for so long that I'm outside of the return window. So I'm really just going to like re-donate something I already purchased to the thrift store for free. So here's kind of what I'm thinking in my brain noggin. If the outfit or the piece itself is so good, I want a resounding rip that tag. I want you to harness your inner tight Pennington. Can't that is the feeling that we want because I've run out of hangers in my closet. And now we need to make room for the other items I've recently thrifted. Maybe I shouldn't be allowed to leave my house. So without further ado, let's just jump right on into it. Item numero uno is a more recent thrift find, and it is this very militaristic, military-ish, you know, khaki dress. And the reason I gravitated towards this is I love the structure of it, and I love that it's nursing friendly for me. It's still long enough that my really, oops, that my really, really long legs won't look really, really long. There are just some things I can't wear. <laughs> because it looks racy on me. So let's go ahead and give this a try. And our Goodwill has started to date things. So this is from August 8th. So you really can't return things outside of that window. Okay, let's drop you down. It is kind of doing something for me. I think it washes me out just a teensy bit, all right? Just a little bit, but the buttons, functional and the length is fantastic. But right now it's kind of a little bit, just like a tish bit in there. So here's what I think it needs. I think it needs a belt for sure. I wish there was a monochromatic belt that came with it, but there is not because I'm losing any sort of shape right here of my figure because my waist actually does come in a little bit and I'd like to accentuate that a little bit. And I think with this, I can either dress it down a little bit or go really, really hard in like the, the military style. So I'm going to see kind of how I feel about both. First things first, I'm going to go for a giant hoop with this one. I think there's too much texture happening with this collar and the buttons to really do any sort of necklaces with this. I think it would just be overkill and a lot of things happening. So to do an oversized hoop, I'd like that juxtaposition. Uh, start counting the amount of times I'm going to say the word juxtaposition in this video. I like the juxtaposition between the overly feminine, right? The really big hoops with the masculinity of a more structured style dress like this. And then, oh, I should have probably dropped you down. And then I currently have it paired with some Birkenstocks. Can't see the whole thing. I gotta drop you down a little bit more. Do we kind of see the vibe? It's pretty cute. It's like a nice little switch up from your average summer dress, but it's still really comfortable. The length is really nice. I still don't have a belt on though. The bummer is I had a plain brown belt that I, I brought out specifically for this try on and now I can't find it. So I either have to go with this printed Western one, which is like not cute. Well, I mean, it's very cute, but it's not cute with this outfit. Or this black one, which actually I don't hate. I just don't love it with the Birkenstocks. They're like a warm brown leather. Oh, that black is doing something for me. Is there any of the bunching? Wait. Okay, wait. Let's swap out the shoes. Now for the bag. Maybe. What if I went like full military-esque? Here's what, <clears throat> I don't like crossbody with this, but I like the black. And I don't mind the mixed metals. I don't think anyone's really gonna pay attention that these are silver, that the zippers on this is gold. Wait, is this doing something? Are we doing something here? I kind of, okay, it is a little, admittedly, it's a little bunchy and it rides up just a little bit. Okay, let me know, let me know. Do we need to rip the tag or no? Because right now it's hitting all the things for, oh, that's a little, it's a little chesty. I might pin that <laughs> just, just a little bit or button it up. How would it look fully buttoned? I don't know, but if I spend this much time on every single outfit, we are going to be here for a millennia. Why do I not hate, wait, wait, wait. Do we need to rip the tag? 9.99, baby. <coughs> okay, next outfit. Okay, item number two, admittedly, I've had for a few years. I keep holding on to it because conceptually, I love it. But every time I put it on, I go, missing the mark, okay? 
and it is this super cute almost peplum-esque Hollister top like it's so cute but it's also so impractical to wear with a bra so right now I'm using one of those Bella band things that you're supposed to use for your pregnancy when like before you get into pregnancy jeans and like extends the life of your normal jeans as one and it just I can't seem to figure this out because every time I try a strapless bra with it, like the sideshow, but I love every time I see it on the hanger, I'm like, it's so cute, so cute. So here's what we're gonna do. Right now I have it paired with some brown velour bell bottoms because I love them. And I already tossed into the earrings that I'm be wearing with this and they are like a silver rope style. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go real hard Western, real hard Western to see if we can kind of like Find a way to make this work. Here we are, a little fake squash blossom because your girl's not about to spend $600 on a necklace. But I do have some real turquoise on the fingies. When in doubt, just really go all out with a turquoise and the silver so you can see how the rope detail kind of like works with the Western theme. And I've paired it with some Justin boots. You can see my feet. I hate find that, finding that out in post, like in editing, realizing that you didn't see the entire outfit. See what I mean? Like conceptually, we're right there. But I just feel like fit-wise, also it's like a hat help. I don't know. I want to I want to love it. But also, you know who would look adorable in this? My sister. <sighs> Let me know your thoughts because uh well, technically I did already rip the tag. Mentally, I haven't done that yet. Goodness gracious, my hair is just gonna get crazier from here on out. Let's go to the next outfit. This one I love on the hanger and then I get it on and I'm like, I'm 36. I don't, oh, okay. It is this leopard print overall dress that I've paired with this really cute like mock neck ribbed, t oh, that I have makeup on. <laughs> mock neck ribbed tee. This is from the thrift store, but it's originally from Walmart. And so is this, so it's like, it's like they're coming home together. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the length is okay. I usually go by the fingertip roll, not because I'm a Catholic school girl, but because that's my comfort zone. I know how this length will operate when I sit and stuff. So I feel like it needs gold. Gold. Chunky gold earring, layered gold necklaces, a little skull to make me look more BA than I actually am. And then of course, now with this outfit, I would probably lace them all the way up and then wear a higher sock to make it a little bit more schoolgirl-esque. See, when I put this whole thing together, I'm like, you know what? I kind of love it. But it needs, it, it literally, in my opinion, begs for the accessories. Like, it's just not, it doesn't work without them. But also, I'm 36. Okay, keep her donate, tell me. Cause I can't, I can't crack the code on this one. Although I do feel very Fran Drescher. So, so much. <laughs> Next up, this adorable vintage number. It's 100% polyester. So it's like, you know, made of plastic, which is not great for your body, but look at what it does for my body. It's missing a button though. Here's my deal. It's the stitching for me. It's the stitching and the extremely white buttons that every time I look at it, I'm like, I don't know. But it is a gorgeous, let me drop you down even further. It's a gorgeous just below the knee, so like T-length dress. So cute, very nursing friendly. Why don't I wear this? What is it about it? Does it pull too costumey? Is that what that is? Or do we just need to embrace it and make it like a, a slightly edgy? If I could, I would be putting in my stud pearl earrings, but they are nowhere to be found. I cannot find them anywhere. Because could you imagine just like a dainty little stud pearl earring? <laughs> well, you're going to have to keep imagining because I can't find them anywhere. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm either going to go like super character-y or super grunge. Let's try both options. All right. I feel like this needs fully hone in the look. We're just doing a quick toss up of the hair. It's not going to be full 1950s low bun. Ah, this might pull more 60s, but I've added in these teardrop-esque silver earrings. I got them on Amazon. In fact, it was like a pack of like 12 of them. I'm l I love these things. I don't know how they do if you have sensitive ears, but that way we've got like a nice classic tiny little nod. But again, picture it with pearls, okay? Um, white penny loafers. <laughs> so this like leans in to the character. 
do we see it? But like, would I ever be so bold to wear this in public? It's, that's pretty stinking cute though. I've always pictured, this is how I pictured it in my mind. Like a low bun, very demure, very mindful, very cutesy. With like these shoes specifically. <sighs> Also, can we appreciate that? I'm on like, what, the third or fourth outfit? And that's the first time I've used the word demure in this video. You're welcome. I've been saying in my head for every single outfit, though. So, that's option one. My low bun is not, it's not demure. Now let's try it, but take it grunge. Okay, this went differently in my mind, okay? Super thick, chunky combat boots. These I actually stole from my daughter, because we wear the same size shoe now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because the dress pulls way too feminine. Like, I feel like the chunky boot would work if there was a little hint of not total 1950s, 1960s vintage. But this, it's not like I'm an overly tattooed rockabilly look. This is just, it's, it's not working in my opinion. This is a full clash. So I feel like if I'm gonna wear this, it's gonna have to be the penny loafers. But also, is this not the perfect outfit for the penny loafers? So let me, where are you going? So let me know. What do you think? It's got a little zipper, which makes it super convenient for feeding the babes. Gives me a waist. <laughs> I'm just not bold enough to wear it in public. Please, I haven't yet, so let me know. Rip the tag or send it back. What was I thinking? I did a try on with this and everything. I sold this so hard in this try on. It's, um, it's giving 1980s homeschool mom from the South. In fact, this is probably an outfit from the 1980s and I am in the South. So based on the overall appearance of this, she probably homeschooled. Conceptually, I see where I was going in my mind when I pulled it off the rack. But then, like a month or two ago, I ended up finding a chambray version of this that fits me a lot better. And it's like a lot more, <laughs> it's like a lot more demure. This, we're not gonna give up until we style it the way I saw it in my brain noggin. Well, now I'm conflicted. I paired it with a chunky gold hoop. If I had something bigger, I would be using that. I'm harnessing like 90s Reba, okay? Okay, vibe with me. Again, I can't find my plain brown leather belt, but because this doesn't hit higher up on my true waist, it's kind of a little bit more relaxed. I think I dig it paired with my Justins. And then if I decided that I wanted to go more simple with the purse, this is a vintage coach bag that I'm obsessed with, but it's starting to fray on the corner, so I really need to treat it really badly. But look, it's got like the vintage coach tag and everything. My husband got this for me years ago and it has been my favorite purse of all time. Now the boots match the bag pretty well, but this belt is a little bit more orangey. In an ideal world, they blend a little bit better. Wait, 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 wait. Accessories make all the difference. Do we like? It is so hot in here. <laughs> I had to turn off the room's air conditioner and the ceiling fan because they're too loud. So I am, I am so <laughs> sweating. Let me know, does it get to keep its hanger? Darn it, now I like it again. <laughs> I feel like you always, you can tell <laughs> where the direction of the outfit's gonna go based on my initial face. Okay. I have wanted a boiler suit, which is basically like a long work looking style jumpsuit for, mm, I wanna say my entire adult life, but that might be a little bit of an exaggeration. But to me, there is something like real cute about it. So guess what I found in the wild for $6.99 on July 14th. <laughs> you shut your mouth while you're talking to me, okay? Zip up front, great for baby, great for mommy. Uh, it has that matching belt that I really wanted out of that first like cargo military style dress. And you see how that 
um, that matching really works. It has no back pockets, which works very nicely for the derriere. And then really giant front pockets. So it still has them. The only thing I can't figure out if I'm okay with or not on this is the length. Your girl's a tall girly, and growing up I always had pants that were too short. <sighs> so I can't decide if I like that or not. But again, we have to accessorize before we can really decide how we feel about an outfit. I love what this does for my shape. I love it so very much. It is still too hot to wear anything like this, but once that weather dips into the 70s, ooh baby, you can bet I'm gonna be wearing this. Maybe not outside until it dips into the 60s, who knows, but this is so cute. Also, if you have any leads on a boiler suit with legs long enough for someone above five foot four, will you let me know? Because I thought it was 5'8". I don't actually know if I'm 5'8 or 5'9". I've said 5'9 for years, but I think we measured me recently. And it might be 5'8". I don't know. But no pants are ever long enough. Okay, enough about me. Let's get, let's get to the shoes. And I think you know exactly where I'm going to go with this. For earrings, I feel like I can go two directions with this. I can either go 2002 J-Lo music video, or I can go Real Housewives of New Jersey. I actually don't watch any Real Housewives shows. So I can either go big like this, which really pulls to my childhood, right? Or I can go like this. The necklaces are also an option. It makes much more of a statement. The reason it works with this top versus the cargo dress is because the cargo dress had buttons all the way up and it was like a much thicker seam on the edges. So this could work, but right now it feels like it's giving a little too much in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and assess the jewelry from there. I think it's this. I think the outfit makes enough of a statement on its own that I don't really need to go giant with the hoops. Then, do I want... Mm, I don't like either one of them. Okay, let's pretend we're going to that purse today. You already know. Paired it with my docs, made in England, if you know, you know. I guess my only question is, I mean, obviously I'm obsessed with the boiler suit, the jumpsuit in general. My only question is, is the length of the legs okay? So I'm kidding, I'm probably keeping it. <laughs> Say it with me, rip that tag. I think that the reason I want to go a little bit more muted with the jewelry is this is this is a little bit more the figure hugging side of things, so I don't want to go over the top because I'm already like I feel like my keystone looks kind of nice. But I don't want to be the kind of girl that you know has a, an outfit that has a nice keystone and then too much gold jewelry. You know what I'm saying? Stop it. Um, I bought this in February of 2023 before I gave birth to my child, who's over a year old now. And it still has the tag on it, it's still sitting in my closet. So I feel like you need that background information before we make a decision on this. Okay, let's drop you down so you can get the full picture. So it's this really overflowy number. I think I pictured myself like doing some sort of like photo moment or wearing this to a baby shower and then I didn't. And I'm not gonna lie, actually I really like the back of it better than the front. So if I was to wear this, I might reverse it. They're practically identical. But I feel like it's too much for church. Like it's too over the top. I don't... <sighs> but as we've come to learn, as we're going on this journey together, I cannot make a decision until I fully accessorize it, right? Cause sometimes I'm like, mm, until I put it all together and then I go, oh, <laughs> yes or, or no. Mm, hold on giant chunky floral statement earrings like huge over the top they weigh the same amount as small toddlers really leaning into the florals then juxtaposed by a nice little strappy sandal you guys i might be able to do this for church oh balder dash okay what if i did it with the vintage coach not my favorite combination. I think in an ideal world that the strappy sandals would be gold or white to really kind of like go with the angelic vibe of all of this. But because it's not, then I can kind of pull off uh, a leather bag like this one. Or I could go for an option like this. This is like a nude pink clutch with a giant gold bar and a pretty long gold chain. Mm. No, if I was going to do this, it'd have to be just a clutch. Now do you see why I bought it? 
like it works, but I just don't know if I have a place to wear it. Feels too fancy for the day today. Feels like it's too much for church. It, it's giving Easter. It's giving Easter. But the real question is, can I wear this to the hib? Very demure, very mindful, very cute. Now, before I come on camera, I want you to know that I saw the shape, okay? I saw the shape first and I went, I know that is going to look incredible on my body. Second thought was, uh, I could just dye it or bleach it and everything will be fine. Um, but here we are. I don't even know how much longer later and I have yet to wear it a single time. I just need you to know shape uh, and dyeing. Is this not sort of romantic? <laughs> it's probably not the most nursing friendly top in the world, but look, I love this seam. I love an empire waist. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love the bell sleeves. It's just the patchwork that I'm having a hard time really drilling with. Okay, let's drop you down. Look how cute and long this is. <sighs> this is so cute. I just don't know. I'll drop it down just a little bit more so you can see the patchwork really well. Also, I should have tied this a little tighter. <laughs> I just don't know how to feel about the patchwork. I just got the bow in back. You guys, I... What do I do? Say it with me. Accessorize first, then make decision. <laughs> Kept the hair in a loose bun, tossed on a slightly off-white hat, and went with extremely dainty, delicate gold jewelry. I'll toss on the necklaces just so we can like get a vibe of what that would look like, but I think, again, it could work. There's just a lot going on with these bows. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that for now. That feels like over the top if I'm going to like a festival, which I'm not, because I'm a mother of four. <laughs> so I don't have time or money for that. You already know. Shoe options, we're introducing some new characters. Option number one, this really cute Kate Spade woven loafer, right? Keeps it a little bit low key. I don't necessarily love it, but it's like the best option that I have if I wanted to wear a flat. Other option is this neutral heel which I think works really nicely. I could see this for like a girl's brunch kind of thing. You know what I mean? Can I use the chain with this one? I probably could. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because what I love about this one in particular is that I can also do the coach purse. <sighs> Maybe. I might like the clutch better. Yeah, let's go back to the clutch. But I have one more shoe option. I could toss off my brown Justins. That desperately needs to be oiled and cleaned. But it gives a way more Western feel, which I kind of dig. Oh, see what I mean? Like once I put it on, especially with accessories, and I also stole a little paperclip style bracelet from the girlies. I don't know if I'd actually wear that with this particular outfit, but <sighs> it's so cute once it's on. It just feels like it's a really bold statement because of the pattern. So what do I do? I love how I feel in this. It's just very specific. It also might be a little, little too chesty for church. I could probably, oh, I was gonna say, I could probably try sewing it, but who knows how well that would go. And then I would lose out on the opportunity to use this as a nursing top. So, does it deserve a hanger? Okay, before I walk out, in my defense, the way this falls on a hanger was really good. Right about now I'm feeling like, you know when you go like shopping with your mom for clothes and she'd be like, come out of the dressing room, sweetie. And you're like, I don't want to. <laughs> Man, she's like, no, just let me see. And you're like, no, that's not, a, that's not a good idea. That's how I currently feel. Okay, so, so we're setting the tone. <sighs> I'm calling this a knockoff Marilyn. And you're about to see why. Conceptually nailed it. Literally not. Look, what is, I had to put on a slip. I had to put on, look, a, like a slip. Because this thing is like more see-through than a single piece of tissue paper. You know what I mean? It, like, I was like, who made this? All of it. Like this is, this is not tasteful side boob. This is not taste, not demure. Not mindful. And then the back's completely open too. This, what was I 
thinking. I just must have missed this entirely. I just saw the front and went, yeah, I can work with that. You know another thing I don't like? Tied waists. You wanna know the worst part about this one? You wanna know the worst part? It's fake. So I couldn't even cinch it, cinch it up if I wanted to. It's giving Grecian and Marilyn all at the same time. But look at the length of this. I could see loving this if this was not a thing. You see what, it, it's the flowing, it's the, it's the weight. We're gonna put together an outfit and then we'll give our final thoughts then. Oh yes, so oh, yes, so oh, yes, they both, oh yes, they both, oh yes, they both. Three, two, the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. Yeah, yes, they both, three, two, the gun, oh, the gun. So I've gone for a big old statement earring. Any chunky gold would work. I should probably fix this. Kept on the paper clip bracelet simply because I forgot to take it off. Back again with this clutch. I feel like if this fit well, this is the type of outfit that's begging for a red lip if you feel so bold. And match it with a red clutch or you can kind of tone it down, go neutral with the lip, neutral with the clutch. And those strappy heels from earlier. See what I mean? Concept is there. Execution is questionable. What do I do? Because I am not a sewer. I feel like this could go up a little, but what do I do with this? No one needs that much side boob ever, okay? If. I think I know what you're gonna say. No amount of accessories can fix this. Now for my last outfit. I am so excited about this one. All of my hopes and dreams are pinned on this one article of clothing. I found it, I yanked it off the rack so fast. Almost, almost like took a granny out trying to get it out of there. Actually, my, I, that's not true. I just was really excited about it. So I'm gonna go put that on and hopefully I'll feel better about myself because this, this. <sighs> I don't know if you're ready for this. Look at the sleeves, look at the sleeves, like nice and flowy. Probably would pin this, but still very nursing friendly. Wait until I drop you down. Wait, just wait, just wait. Look how long this is. I also might pin this, because who knows how far that would go, but like, this is giving Emerald Jessica Rabbit without being too zava zava. And I've kept on the nude heels, simply because I didn't want to take them off. But I knew I was just gonna put them right back on. So I've already kind of like slightly cheated and accessorized a little bit. But look at this. So it's a wrap dress and has buttons on the inside with this little cute tie that brings it together. If I wanted to, I could tie it in the back and not have the bow up front. Provides a little bit of a sleeker look. It's giving Evelyn Hugo. <sighs> it's perfect. It's perfect. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. I don't know why I'm gonna wear this, but I know I'm gonna look good when they do it. And yes, I would wear this to the HEB, okay? It's too much for church, maybe Christmas. Maybe Christmas, like like a pea coat or something, so it like take this and dress it down. But wait, hold on, we have to accessorize. We have to complete the accessories first. Also, this has gotta go, because this is not, you know the word. <laughs> I paired the dress with these stunning, stunning drop crystal earrings by Jade Oi, it's a company, it's actually a gal that used to be a subscriber of mine on my main channel that started her own jewelry line for brides and every time I have a giveaway, she always sends stuff in and sends extra for me. So these are the ones that I kept from the last batch. Look. And I would probably pair it with a low bun, something like this, but maybe like a little more demure. <laughs> and then again, this outfit, a lot like the last one, I could do a red lip if I wanted to, that is like, bold statement, almost very caricature-esque, and go really bold with the clutch. I think a gold clutch would look stunning with this outfit, but since this is the only clutch that I have, we're gonna go ahead and style it with this bad boy. So here we go. Look at that. It's so cute. Now, I don't think I'd do the chain with this one. I think it's too long, draws the eye down too much when we really want the eye to stay here. See what I mean? So I could do this and then hold it down so then it's almost like two separate pieces. But with this, it just hits weird. Like I wouldn't hold the purse here, you know what I mean? I am so pleased with this. And guys, guess what? It was $8.99. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna wait for you. I don't care. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I care, like I care. Like, let me know what you think. Let me know how much you love this as much as I do, okay? 
So that's what we have for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the styling portion of things because so many times I do a thrift haul and I tell you what I'm thinking about how the outfit's gonna come together, but I don't actually do it. So if you enjoyed it or you found the actual styling portion of things a little bit helpful, let me know in the comments because th while this is sweaty work, it's for sure fun. You know, it's not gonna be fun though. Cleaning that up. <laughs> time before my husband's home, right? Let me know which one was your favorite and your least favorite and which ones I need to get rid of. I mean, obviously the Maryland dress probably needs to go, although it's so, it hangs so nice. I want nursing friendly. I don't need it to be that friendly. But the patchwork, what do I do? The, the oversized floral dress, what do I do? The 80s denim dress, what do I do? Because when it's all together, it's so freaking cute. <sighs> okay, let me know. Do it, or do I just need to be more bold and wear stuff like that on the daily? I love you so much. If you enjoyed this video, jump on down there, hit that subscribe button. I do thrift hauls all the time. And now we might be doing more styling stuff. Who knows? <laughs> I might forget. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.